Okay, hello, this is Tonner here, and today I finally got a, H a uh, VGA cable for the computer, finally. Uh, I have to turn this on, you can see the power cable. Here it is, here is the power cable. You need to plug this in to an adapter. Oh, where is the adapter? It was over here somewhere, where did it go? Where did it disappear off to? Is it's here. Okay. <clears throat> so then. Oh yes, the TV. We need to get the remote. There it is. Boot failure. Okay, uh, let's restart the computer. One of the hard drives is probably not initializing or something, I don't know, what is that? Unplug. Alright, let's unplug this hard drive, because we don't need it yet. Let's unplug it over here. There, and plug it from the power. Because why do we need to power this thing? Because remember, the only thing we really need is these things at the top over here. This hard drive can just slam it back onto the top when we're done with everything. It's probably like interfering with the. Uh, Thing. Of course, there's nothing in the disk drive, hopefully. And if there is anything in there, there's probably something in there, but... Oh well. Alright, we can plug it back in. It's connected. Alright. Plug it back in. Ugh. So, everything plugged in properly? Yes, that's put into the master. That is all good. Alright. And turn it on. Okay. There it is. Boot failure again. Okay. Okay, so it's not the floppy. We need to unplug the floppy drive as well. We need to unplug this thing here. And the disk drive. The disk drive is that one. The disk drive. Okay. So you unplug everything apart from the hard drive. The hard drive is still working, or it should be working, still. Okay, let's try now. Okay, here is the uh, thing.
Aha! It's working! Now that, if you have any issues with the computer, always unplug any unnecessary things, like the, um, the, the CD drive, things like, um, the floppy drive, if you, it's like an old computer. But, the thing with this is that it's trying to boot from things it's not supposed to boot from. Of course it has Windows XP, like, oh, I don't know why you really expected. But here it is, everything is working. Uh, where is it? Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh yes, the mouse. I guess I just have to borrow my gaming mouse. Hopefully it recognises it, if it's not that outdated. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Alright, hardware has been detected. Yep, it's working. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Minecraft is not going to run. Nope, not, not, does not run. So, obviously we have everything done. Everything is here. Let's give the hard drive a bit of work. What happens if we plug in the um, thingy drive? Nothing, it can just put a disc in there now, I guess. But of course we have to put the disc thingy at the top. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut the computer down and try and get a disc to play. Alright. I don't have any floppy disks, so what's the point of having this? However, I do not want to damage the power supply, so I'm going to have it plugged in to the power, because the thing with this power supply is that um, it cut the fuse multiple times when it was nothing plugged in, so you just plug the power supply and the fuse went off. It didn't fry. It's a safety feature in there, so I made sure that I have as many things as plugged in. Of course, we'll plug this in later. For now, it's just going to be here. Um, let's take this off, and get a IDE cable that I can use as a slave connector. Oh yes, they're all under here. Yes, they are. How did I know? Let's find the slave, here it is. Here's a slave card that I can use perfectly for this. I think the screen does not fall onto the computer. That would not be that would not be fun. Come on, don't get stuck on the PS2. Not like that. So now we just need to okay, everything is unplugged. I'm safe to reach in. This goes into here like that. To make sure where the pin is missing, I plug it in. Okay, this is now a slave drive, so it won't boot from this like it did just now, because I think before I put it into like a primary thing. Alright, let's plug everything back in. There, turn this on. Alright. There is a disc. Now of course the control card for the hard drive on this only works with this hard drive here, so I can't just put it into another computer. Or I have to reformat it. That's with another control card. Of course if I plug it in with another control card and it doesn't work, of course I have to format the disc for it to uh, get full control of the disc. Okay, it booted up. Let's get it into the CD drive. Alright, I'm putting the disc in, let me show you this. Okay, you can see, I can put the disc in here.
and uh, let's watch this. We're not going to watch the whole thing, we just know that it can read the disc. <laughs> there it is. Me around in the woods. So the only thing we can really use this for is, well, watching movies, because, well, there's not much we can do on this other than that. This doesn't have a um, receiver, it doesn't even have an M.2 slot, so I can put like a Wi-Fi receiver in there or anything. No, it has an Ethernet, so if I get a uh, Wi-Fi adapter from Wi-Fi to um, the... So from wi there's like a Wi-Fi receiver with a... Um, Ethernet, and I can use that. Of course, there's no speaker either. Might need to install a sound card. But I think I have a sound card. Uh, it's in here or inside this computer over here. Let's try and install one of those. And then install a little speaker. Oh. Mm. Right. <laughs> oh, the book's full of all the hardware. Here it is. The camera doesn't put all the way down, but I guess it doesn't really need to because there's nothing really important to that computer in this. It's just full of things like extra CD drives. I wonder if this CD drive works. Well, I guess that's for another video. You've got this old quantum hard drive that uh, I might be able to, it, it won't be able to boot unfortunately because well of course the control card does not support that hard drive even if I try it's going to just say that there is a uh, boot failure Okay, let's see. This is just a graphics card. This is an old graphics card over here. I wonder if this uh, graphics card over here will work. However, it is a... Uh, what is it? Um, an ATI graphics card. So there's a little lever that I have to pull out for it to release. Seem to fit the other way around, maybe. Then we've got this graphics card over here, so now we've got two graphics cards. We've got some hardware stuff going on over here. I have to put it in the other way around. Might not work though. Oh well. You can try. Let's see, does any of these fit in here? Let's see. That definitely fits in. All right. Let's shut the computer down. There's no onboard RAM on this, so... Okay, let's unplug the thing. I don't want to fry the motherboard, by any means. Okay, I've seen the fan spin a tiny, tiny bit there. Okay, there. All the pins should be lined up. Now let's move the video card, video thing. Alright, so it's plugged in, let's try and test this thing.
Well, it's doing it. It's working. There's but much more less colours, of course. Oh no, I haven't been pointing the camera up for a bit, but oh well. I guess you didn't really need to see anything. You can you just saw the things that you needed to see anyway. Come on, it's a black screen. Nigel's working. Oh, don't tell me that the graphics card doesn't support Windows XP. Okay, I think the graphics card is something wrong with it, so let's shut the computer down. Alright. Let's unplug the thing. Or not unplug it, but just shut it down by the socket. All right, let's undo this whole graphics card thing over here. Of course, we've seen that it works, so. And of course stops displaying information, which is quite odd. Everything seems to be fine. Nothing seems to fry or anything. It smells like dust. <laughs> and this can go in. <laughs> All right. Don't need to really screw it in, it doesn't really do anything. Alright, let's see. Says it's booting into Windows XP. And then we'll plug in the uh, old hard drive and the old CD drive as well. There it is. So it was just the graphics card, nothing else. And of course, I'll be upgrading. I'll see if. Uh, Oh, look at that. It remembered this stuff over here. I think the uh, capacitor still stored some energy for the RAM to store this information. It didn't store in the hard drive. No, this stuff is stored in the RAM. There's something that doesn't change the device permanently. Things that change the device permanently will probably go to the hard drive instead of the RAM. Of course, this is one gigabyte of RAM, so that should be more than enough to tell it, OK, this exact tab was open. <laughs> so keep it open. And I'll be plugging in this old hard drive for the next episode so of this old computer we've tried this old graphics card it works I'm not be getting really taking into CX I'll get like two pence for this so don't tell me to take this to CX and all oh, we're gonna make millions what crystal does this have a 14 megahertz crystal you can see this this thing right here is a 14 megahertz pixel right here this tiny thing He's focused the camera. There you go. Fourteen, it's a fourteen point one eight one eight pix megahertz pixel. So of course, there's going to be limitations to the uh, how much um, thing it has, and it also has a BIOS chip, which is quite odd. I haven't seen. 
any uh, BIOS chips on these, and it even has some uh, cache thing. So yeah. I don't know how many megahertz this has. Let me look for the crystal. Where is it? It has been hidden. Oh, I think I see it. No, it's not it. That's just something else. Maybe it's on the other side. Okay, I'll look for it later. Now, of course, this that's going to be it for this video here. We are going to be looking at... Oh, I forgot the hard drive. Oh, no. Okay, I'll shut the computer down and be back. We do it the classic way. Yes. Okay, so let's plug everything back in. I put it into the slave one, I put it into the primary one. I was not supposed to do that. But now let's try it. All right. Let's see how much storage is there, or how much storage can we fit onto that SATA drive. Because it does have a SATA cable on. Oh, and we forgot about this graphics card here. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, go to next episode for this. This one's a 27 megahertz pixel. The pixel that I saw is right here. That's the pixel there. And it's an ATI Radeon. See, does this stuff over here even fit into here? Nope, does not fit in. How did I know? Alright. We're in. There should be two discs now. Where is the other disc? Three gigabytes. Why? That's not the right one. Um, maybe in data? No. Not that. No. Where is it? It's definitely not that. That's a 600 megabyte disc, which does not exist. That's a virtual disc to uh, start a game. Okay, it doesn't register, it doesn't recognize it for some reason. Probably because it was um, formatted and everything has gone off of it. So, it's probably why it does not work. I'll shut it down and try the other one, but of course that's the next video. So now, of course, hope you enjoyed this tech video, tech thing, tech stuff, whatever it is. Of course, the um, uh, VGA cable was given to me by a technician from school, so yeah. That was good. And, uh, yeah. Bye.